What's up guys, this is Scootman5000. Today we are back for another action figure review and today, fresh off the truck, we got the Edge, Edgehead's 3-in-1 figure from Ringside Collectibles. And not only is this one of the first times we've gotten Edge since his comeback this year, but it also marks the technical final figures of Zack Ryder, Matt Cardona, and Kurt Hawkins, Brian Meyer. And if you're a fan of the Major Wrestling Figure Podcast, you know that this idea was kind of birthed by Ryder himself and he kind of pitched this to ringside, and they finally went through with it. So that's a pretty cool way to go out in your action figure career, in WWE at least. I'm sure we'll see a jazz wear in the future. But yeah, this is one of those exclusives, almost like that Undertaker Kane, where you could argue you could buy two. I think this one especially, you gotta buy three. This is even better. You got three figures you can make out of this. They're advertising it three in one, and you gotta buy three. And I might even buy another one just to keep on the box. I really do like the packaging on this. You got a nice big window box in the front, Showing you everything you're getting in the package, the alternate hands, the alternate heads, and then the Edge figure in the middle. Some great custom graphics for Edge there, ringside exclusive sticker. For the sides, one side you got Edge, and the other side you got the Edge heads. And then on the back you got some great renders of classic Edge with his Edge heads. And then you got a whole big read up that I'm not going to read because it's way too long. You got Edge's rated R logo on top, and then here's your barcodes on the bottom. And there's not much more to the Edge packaging, so let's get to it and crack open these edge heads. And here is the edge heads out of the packaging. So we got Zach, we got Kurt, and then we got Edge in the middle. And because we're buying three, we do have all sorts of extra heads and hands and all sorts of stuff like that. So obviously on the figure, you're getting the rock and roll hands, which I actually thought were the same as the wolf pack hands, but they are slightly different, which I appreciate. And then for accessories, we get these gripping hands. And then obviously you take Edge out of the package, you're acquainted with these two Zack and Kurt heads. And in the packaging, he does come with the entrance jacket. We'll go over him with the jacket now. But yeah, getting the jacket onto Edge, you want to take the head off. And you also want to get the hands off the figure. And we can grab the jacket here. Kind of just slides in. It's a little bit difficult at the start, but then you'll get it. Then we'll pop the hands back in and pop the head back on. And then here's Edge with the jacket on, and of course he comes in the box like this, so if you want to keep him like that, then you do that. And it's fine, it looks good, it's well sculpted, we'll look at it in a second, but the issue with these jackets, and I'm really glad why he's getting an ultimate for this reason, is you can't really pose the thing. It's a big rubber piece, it's big thick rubber. This one actually seems a little bit better than maybe the Finn Balor jacket, it's a bit lighter, but still you're not really going to get much range in this guy. But you can see it's got all sorts of good sculpted detail. Would have been nice to actually see like a wash over it or something. I'm not sure that's something Mattel really does, but it would bring out these nice studded details and this texture to the jacket. And the only paint on the thing is these silver buckles going down. But yeah, you get a little bit going up here. It's very difficult to pose. I've seen actually a photo. Uh, you can kind of, kind of warps the, uh, yeah, it's pretty difficult. I don't know. You can't really pose this thing. It's not really the ideal display option. I kind of got it stuck here. I'm going to have to take it off. But yeah, if you want a jacketed edge, it's not the worst option, but I think hold out for that ultimate. You'll have probably a better either cloth goods or you'll have interchangeable arms with a with kind of a trench coat in the middle. But yeah, I got them all three set up like this. And what we're going to do for the review, we're just going to look at the figure from the neck down, and then we're going to look at all three head sculpts towards the middle. So going over the figure, it's the same body we've seen on a million different edges before, though we haven't really had an edge in a few years, an elite. I think one of the last ones was that Hall of Fame figure, one of them I really regret not getting. And I'm glad to finally have an edge in the collection. That ultimate coming out of his return is phenomenal, but for now this will do. And obviously the edge heads really sweetens the deal on these guys. Yeah, if you have a Mattel Edge, this is pretty similar, but obviously with the newest printing and the newest face scan as well. And then this is the first time we're getting these hands on Edge as well, which is very cool. But the torso is the same old. On the arms, you got Edge's tattoos. So you got his star here. You got his other skull tattoos down there. And then on his shoulder here, you got that classic sunburst. And then we go down to the figure's tights here. Black tights on him, which I think is a good look. This is how the Edge heads did it. It's simple, you know, so you could have three guys wearing the same gear. But it also just works as a main non-specific edge attire. You know, you could fit this edge in most displays and it won't look that out of place. So you got the rated R on the tights, nothing on the back. On the legs, you got rated R Superstar. And you see that on the other side. And then the boots as well with those rated R logos with the star and silver in the back. And then some white piping around the kick pad. And then we even get a silver stripe in the back. And then we'll get a better look at that edge head sculpt now that we're done with that body. So I did pick the best out of the three for each head. Obviously I had three different choices for all three characters. 
So this was the best edge head, and I think it's pretty good. I'm not sure if we've seen this exact sculpt before, but obviously we do have the modern day photo reel. But this era of edge, it's around 2007, so he's not as grizzled yet as he would be kind of in the later years of his career, and then of course now. So yeah, this is like a 07 edge, but I think this could be an edge that, you know, fights John Cena in 2005. You could put it with your Lita figure, and I think that'll look good. But overall, it's a pretty decent likeness, and then the hair is that kind of dirty blonde look. It's painted in that lighter blonde and then washed over with a brown. Looks pretty good. And then here we have the Kurt Hawkins head. And Kurt Hawkins has had a pretty good streak of head sculpts with Mattel. His basic's good, his elite's good, and now this Edge Heads Retro is very good as well. And even if you guys are some savvy customizers, you could take these extra heads you're getting with Hawkins and with Ryder, and you could kind of make some throwback looks, especially this Hawkins. He did kind of rock this hairstyle for pretty long in his career. He's kind of got some weird stubble going on. I can't tell if that's the sculpt or the paint, but it's very faint. So honestly, you're not even going to notice it. I think it just kind of adds to the realism. But overall, good Kurt Hawkins face sculpt. And then finally, here is the Zack Ryder head sculpt. And you might look at this and not think it's too great to begin with. But if you go ahead and you pull up that studio shot that this is based on and it's actually a pretty perfect likeness on the figure and i did notice on my other head sculpts that the eyes were kind of inconsistent but i guess that's what you're going to get with this kind of crazy expression and what is really cool about this as well is that rider does have the beanie that he would come out to to kind of differentiate himself and i think on the podcast they've said that this beanie wasn't actually accurate to this attire but i'm pretty sure that rider was happy with it because it does again differentiate your rider from your hawkins and the original pack of Jack's figures that these had didn't have the beanie, although it was supposed to. This is really cool and actually a pretty decent likeness for Ryder in this time period. And then we'll bring back Edge to do some articulation. Heads on that ball joint, so you're gonna get a good ball. You can go all the way around in rotation. You go down, don't really go down much. And you can go back a little bit. The Hawkins head is going to articulate similarly. It's going to look down a bit better and look up about the same. And then the rider head is probably the most limited with articulation, but it's still decent. Doesn't look back much, but looks forward all right. Torso is the standard elite ab crunch. Forward that much and back that much. Shoulders on a swivel and then a hinge. Got the bicep cut. Single elbow. And then the wrist rotates and it hinges as well. Got a swivel at the waist, ball joints at the hip. You got the upper thigh cut, double jointed knee, cut at the boot. Boot goes up that much, back that much, and you get a slight tilt on the boot. And now we'll go ahead and do my favorite part. We'll do some comparisons. Wanted to start off comparison with all three edge heads together in a vanilla pose. And I think in real life, edge runs a little bit taller, but it's action figures. What are you going to do? Here's Edge with the basic Roman Reigns and basic Seth Rollins. Here's Edge with the elite Roman Reigns and elite Seth Rollins. And then here's Edge with the Royal Rumble elite Lita and then a basic Edge. And the heights on the basic and the elite run about the same, so that's good. And it's really cool to see this Lita figure with this Edge. And then here's the Zack Ryder with Zack Ryder's last elite figure. Don't mind all the decked out major gear. And you can see here that Ryder's just a little bit shorter than this, but what are you going to do? And then here is the Kurt Hawkins with Kurt Hawkins Elite. Again, merch get out in the major gear. And you could kind of see the height difference again. And overall, that's going to do it for your look at the three in one Edgeheads figures. Great, excellent pickups for the collection and a great send off for Kurt Hawkins and Zack Ryder by Mattel. And I think I'm going to need to get two more of these. I'm going to need one men on card and I'm going to need another just to have a plain edge on the shelf separate from these Edgeheads. But in the comments, let me know what you think of these figures. What else you guys picked up this week? I'm going to have an AEW Cody figure review up by the time this airs as well. And if you like this kind of video, any other sort of action figure reviews, you stay tuned right here on the Scoop Man 5000 YouTube channel.